case, I didn't make the transition. Somebody else made the transition for me. I was at that time, actually I had, you know, retired from uh, diplomacy. The Prime Minister told me that he was keen that I join the government. I mean, personally, it was a surprise. Uh, I had not even thought about it. In my case, I didn't make the transition. Somebody else made the transition for me. Huh? So, uh, so I fi about five years ago, uh, I was at that time uh, actually I had uh, re you know retired from uh, diplomacy and I was a well-paid corporate uh, uh, corporate uh, executive uh, and um, uh, the prime minister told me that he was keen that I join the government. So it frankly and and to me it was. Uh, uh, I mean, to me personally, it was a surprise. I mean, I had not even thought about it. But one of the reasons I had not thought about it was nobody in my family, then or even now, has even remotely thought about politics. In fact, rest of my family is still wondering what am I doing in politics. <laughs> so, so it's not something I was prepared for at all, you know. So then you ask me how, you know, so did diplomacy teach you? It did. Because, you know, when you are thrown, you know, in a completely new environment, you know, how, what do you do? You, I did as a, as a minister what I had done earlier as a diplomat or ambassador. First, I watched everybody around me. You know, what do they do? You know, how do they behave? You know, what is the, uh, you know, wh what is the kind of, uh, you can say, like the, uh, the code between them, how, you know, uh, you learn by, by, uh, in a way, looking at others, picking up points, uh, having, but you should have that willingness to, uh, to pick that up. Uh, it, it took, to be honest, it took uh, uh, a little effort because, you know, uh, even if you are, uh, even, even, even if you are an ambassador, it's very different, uh, you know, from, say, uh, being with all of you and then going out in India, look, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, uh, with, I would say, uh, the the public, often sometimes in in very demanding circumstances, uh, people of different backgrounds, different numbers, different situations. So, and and I must say, uh, you know, as as someone who's still uh, in new in that line of work, uh, what it 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 actually opened up my eyes. Uh, about what politics, what politicians do, and what politics uh, is about, what public service uh, is about. It's a, it's a very, very demanding, very taxing thing. But there is also the satisfaction of a very different level that you may have made decisions, or you may have contributed somewhere, which has actually changed, you know, something very big for a large, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, when, as I say, when we I look back at some of the big challenges of the last five years. You say, okay, you know, I also had uh, my little bit uh, to to add to it. it it's uh, it's also you know, something you you will remember uh, all your life. So, you know, one part of me, after almost five years now, has internalized it. One part of me is still uh, sort of uh, re reflecting uh, reflecting on it. Uh, but uh, the uh, the uh, last question, because it flows from this, you know, you know this idea that politics does politics hurt development. It depends what kind of politics, because that same political motivation, you know, exhortation, it can also be a, in a way, uh, you know, a force of change, that. If you if you ask, you know there is there is. I, I give you an example. Uh, you remember, 
I think this about, uh, uh, it would have been seven, eight years ago. One August 15th, I think it was 2015 if my memory is right. Prime Minister Modi from Red Fort on August 15th asked people who, who could afford to pay for the gas cylinder to give up the subsidized gas cylinder. Okay. Remember, it is, you are actually telling people to make, in a way, some kind of economic sacrifice. The sacrifice may not be big, but if, now it's actually, you could say, they did it because there is a kind of respect for a political level call. And as a result, actually, literally millions of people gave up their gas cylinders and gave it up to people who were deserving. Now, uh, again, it, uh, you know, because often we, and you know, we maybe partly because of previous experience, we tend to think of politics as though it's a kind of a burden or a negative force or, you know, uh, uh, it takes your time, it wastes your energy. That's a kind of feeling which I think in a way you didn't say it, but I could sense it. Okay. I would say, and may, I maybe, maybe five years ago, I would have uh, been like you, you know. But today I feel, look, I've seen the positive side of it. 